Hey you guys, it's me the Z Summer and welcome to my channel and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 2 Episode 1. Oh my goodness you guys, I am so excited about this Let's Play. I have been waiting so long to just jump straight on into The Sims 2 and just film a Let's Play and kind of share my experience with the game with you guys. So yeah, I'm just so excited you guys. Um, anyways, yesterday I redeemed The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection on Origin, which means that I have every expansion pack and every stuff pack that has ever been released for The Sims 2, and that's just so exciting in itself, and we just get to really experience a Sims life in The Sims 2 with every single aspect, so yeah. But um, before we begin, please click like and subscribe as well as the notification bell icon so you are notified whenever I post a new episode of Let's Play The Sims 2. And uh, yeah, let's just jump straight on in. So our story is going to start here at the Sim State Dormitory at Sim State University with our lovely Sim on the inside of the four walls. And, um, you know, we're going to go. We're, uh, uh, I cannot speak. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, we're basically just going to be playing through university at first and getting her a major and whatnot. And then we're going to go ahead and um, move on from there once she graduates. So yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and meet our lovely Sim. She is waiting for you guys. Um, she's over here in the living room. And here she is. She is so cute, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Anyway, this is Bailey Brown. She is really just the girl next door. Um, she grew up in Pleasant View next to the Pleasant family. So she was good friends with Angela, obviously, since she was kind of the popular girl. She got along really well with everyone including Bailey, and um, she's really just really sweet and kind and nice to everyone. She's really just a friend of the world, and um, she really just wants to start the rest of her life off here at Sim State University by getting her degree and whatnot, so she's very excited. Um, but yeah, so as far as her physical appearance goes, she is wearing this lovely little updo ponytail. Um, I'm not exactly sure which pack it's from I'm so sorry you guys but it's really cute and it really fits her well she has her ears pierced which is a feature that came with Bon Voyage which is another expansion pack that I'm super excited to play around with in the future and then she is just wearing a really kind of neutral face of makeup nothing too cakey or anything she's a very innocent looking girl and she's very sweet and um, she's wearing this outfit from H&M stuff. It is a pinky salmon cable knit sweater, a pair of like black jeans or slacks, and then some cranberry colored heels. So she is just the cutest little bean. <laughs> um, and I'm so excited to play around with her. Um, but yeah, as far as her like personality goes, um, she literally, I just moved her in here, just created her and sat her down here. So she doesn't have any, you know, lifetime rewards or anything like that yet um but her personality she's a cancer which is my personal favorite astrological sign if you're a cancer make sure you like this video and leave a comment telling me you're a cancer because i want to know and i will praise you um as far as her kind of traits go she's um more on the neat side she's a little bit shy which is really cute um she's more active than lazy she's a little bit more on the serious side but She's just the kind of girl that really wants to make sure she balances work and play well. So she's not going to be a complete stick in the mud, but she really does want to get good grades in college. And she is a little bit more on the nicer side than grouchy. And that's good because nobody likes a grouchy girl. Um, interests, again, don't really matter quite yet. She just... Um, she just went ahead and joined the world, so she's not really anything special yet um her chemistry she has the turn-ons of cologne and facial hair so she's looking for a guy who has both of those things um and she has the turn off of people that stink because that's really sick and gross so nobody wants to be making out with someone that smells like sewage you know um but yeah i mean that's really all that uh, there is so far she's really just kind of a blank canvas for us to build upon um so first things first before we do anything else we need to go ahead and declare her major so she has an actual purpose here at sim state university um so let's see over here is the computer lab which in my personal opinion it's a little bit dull drab bleak you know all of the adjectives um we need to do something with this later on maybe just 
kind of give it some more school spirit or something. It's a little bit boring. But let's come on over to this old dinosaur computer and declare our major. Now, y'all. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. I forgot there's this weird sim shadow situation. So hold on just one second, you guys. And when I come back, it'll be gone. Okay, you guys, awkward. I'm back. Fix the shadow issue. We're going to declare a major. Now, I am probably one of the most indecisive people you will ever meet in your entire life. That's why I went ahead and didn't include Create a Sim in the LP because I would literally have to edit probably four hours of footage because I'm literally insane like that. Um, so we're just going to try to go with our gut as far as majors go <laughs> because I will literally sit here and sift through all of the pros and cons of each of these and that's just not what we need to do right now because that's boring. <laughs> um, anyways, kind of a plan that I've kind of concocted in my head before I started filming is I kind of want to have her maybe be like a businesswoman someday. Um... I don't know. I could just really see her being a businesswoman for some reason. Um, she's charismatic and whatnot. So I think that would be a good kind of career path for her. Um, and it would be something that could obviously sustain her family and, you know, have them a good steady income. So that's why I'm leaning a little bit towards the economics major. So it says economics, the study of services and commodities. Um, if it has to do with simoleons, these folks know about it. It isn't an easy job, but a talented economist who can figure out the markets makes quite the business person, which I think sounds kind of right up what I was thinking. Um, her ideal careers would be music, intelligence, business, politics, and show business. And her focus skills are charisma, mechanical, creativity, and logic. So obviously business is right here. So I think this is actually what I'm going to pick. Um, that was a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, this is the path that I want her to take. So we're going to go ahead and just accept that. Yes, girl. <laughs> going to be a businesswoman. Um, okay, let's go ahead and pause and see what she needs right now, personally. Um, so she's actually pretty good right now. She doesn't need much. Um, I guess we could go... No, never mind. I was going to say we could grab her a snack, but I guess we'll just wait until she actually is like hungry. So then we can go over to the cafeteria. Anyway, I guess right now we can go ahead and just tour the dormitory so you guys kind of get a feel for um, where we're going to be living out most of the LP, I guess. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and show you guys around. So obviously, you guys saw the computer room over here. I'm probably going to add something else in there to make it a little bit more homey, probably a bookshelf or something. Um, we have the cafeteria, which is really, really cute in my opinion. Um, it's just nice and quaint and homey feeling. Um, and we do have a kitchen worker who prepares us meals um, every five minutes, literally. Um, but he gets paid, so it's okay. And um, obviously, uh, we're going to need more than 500 simoleons to survive in the world. So we might have her come down here and work in the cafeteria at some point to get... Uh, literally can't talk. Awkward. <laughs> we might have to come down here and work in the cafeteria to grab a few extra simoleons along the way. Over here is kind of, it looks to me like a receptionist area. Like, does it not? I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Over here is the, uh, like, lower floor dormitory rooms. Um, we don't really have any housemates yet, um, other than... <laughs> Bailey <laughs> um, and then there's the bathroom over here um nothing too special <laughs> um there's another bathroom upstairs and then this is kind of the little communal hangout room uh there's a tv um there's like a mini fridge a microwave you know a bookshelf where we can study a little um obviously I like I said I'm probably gonna buy another one and put it in the kind of study downstairs so not everybody's constantly up here like on top of each other cramming for their exams um and then there's just like another little kind of sitting area and then I actually did already claim our room uh before I began filming so we could get the one that we wanted I selected the one over here in this corner with the three windows because I know that if I was Bailey I would want more than one window or I would literally have a panic attack every five minutes <laughs> so we have her in this room which is also very heinous looking and it needs to be 
dealt with here soon. So probably not right now. We are a little bit low on simoleons, but once we get a couple more in our pocket, we'll maybe make this look a little bit cuter and more Bailey-esque. Um, but yeah, so that is our dormitory. Um, it's cute, quaint, homey feeling, and I think it's going to be a great place for Bailey to live for her four years of college. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I guess now it's time to actually get into gameplay. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and I guess have her go upstairs to the study. This isn't the study. This is the common room. Um, we'll have her come up here and grab a book to study from for a little bit since you know, we don't really have anything else going on. Our housemates are still moving in. So let's have her. Let's see. We need to study cooking, charisma, and cleaning. So any of these that are highlighted, that means that we need to um, study those in order to upgrade our class. Um, what's this called? Like our class performance. And um, so, yeah. So I guess right now we'll go ahead and study cooking. Um, just start at the top of the list. So she can go ahead and go upstairs and do that. Um, but yeah, oh, there is the mystic lady at our door, but we're going to just not, um, do that. <laughs> um, that's not really in our interest right now, but thanks lady. Is she not even here? She just like <laughs> telepathically sent us mm -hmm. that message, I guess, cause she's a mystic. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, she's going upstairs to go ahead and study a little bit. Um, this is actually kind of a cute room. Like, it, it honestly, it is. Um, but yeah, so she's going to go ahead and do that for a little bit. Um, let's see. I kind of wanted to look around and see, like, if we have any housemates yet. It looks like there's some rolling in as of right now. Um, so here we have Grant Chan. He kind of looks like a troublemaker in my opinion, but, you know whatevs um he's he looks like he could be fun to like party with probably but he also kind of looks like a bully uh. so i don't know maybe we'll steer guys i literally cannot talk i just woke up that's probably why but he looks like a little bit of a bully so we might steer clear from him um who knows we'll see him anyway little bailey's up here just studying away being a good little student um yeah that's good <laughs> um, oh, who's he? Ah. Hi, my name's Bailey. What's up? Don Colin. He looks like he's going to study too. Or he's just looking for an excuse to come flirt with us. Who knows? Because <laughs> Bailey is like really cute. So, oh, he's like, can I sit here? She's like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, maybe they could date. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking uh, like really far ahead from what we're doing right now. Awkward. Um, she just got a new want, uh, play a computer game. Cool. Um, maybe we'll do that later when she's not studying. <laughs> um, okay. So it says out of the bookcase and into the frying pan, Bailey's earned a cooking skill point and with it has learned to prepare a new meal. Cool. Good job, girl. Um, so yeah, so she's studying right now. Um, as I've said 40 times now. <laughs> Um, let's see who else is coming in, just out of curiosity. Um, looks like we got another roommate over here. Who's this? Brian Russowicz? Rus Rus yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, he's actually kind of cute, like, honestly. Okay, we could get down with that. Like, go ahead. Huh? I think she would be like Um... Obviously, we'll have to get to know his personality, though, because I'm not trying to have little innocent Bailey hook up with some oh serial killer dude. You know, we're not about that life. Um, over here is another new housemate that we have, Felicia Reeman. Reeman. She's really cute. I could actually see her and Bailey being really good friends. Like, she's really pretty. I'm down. Like, honestly, they could get to be, like, best friends, probably. I like her outfit. Lovely. You look good, Mike. Um, but yeah, so let's see. I guess we'll just have her go up like one more skill point and then after that we'll probably have her, I don't know, maybe go play on the computer for a little bit or something because she does want to play on the computer and I don't want to just like force her to study all the time because that's boring. There she is, the mystic lady, finally teleported. 
<laughs> um, but yeah. So, you know what? I guess we'll just stop her for now. She's studied enough. She, I think she went up like two points or something. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's good. Um, so let's have her go ahead and wait. Actually, we should see what she needs before we do anything. Okay, she is getting a bit hungry. So I guess before we jump on the computer, we'll have her come down and grab some pancakes who were delightfully prepared by Dawson Wilson, our kitchen cook. So let's have her come eat some of those. I know you want to keep reading because you're such a good student, but we have to have you come eat because you have to be, you know, nourished in order to be a good student, girl. Who's that? Whitney Baina. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Bailey. Cool. Okay. Bye. Talk to you later. <laughs> Those actually look like good pancakes. Good job, Dawson. We love you. We we stand. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This is actually a cute little scene. We're just eating down here. Oh. Okay, I just took a picture. I need a thumbnail, so I'm just over here, like, <laughs> snapping away. Um, but, yeah, so once she finishes eating, we'll have her... She's a little bit low on fun, too, so I guess it wouldn't hurt for her to play on the computer. So we'll have her... Play SSX3. Whatever that means. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so she's just eating like a good little sim right now. And then, she, oh, I was like, he's hot, but it's just the bully again. So we're not going to F with him because we're not trying to get beat up or something. Honestly, <laughs> the eating noises are kind of gross. <laughs> like, I just heard that in the last few seconds and I was like, ew, like literally you're, you sound like a horse eating, Bailey. You need to work on that. Okay, so she's going to come play SSX3. Yes. <laughs> um, so I don't know what that means, but here she goes. <laughs> um, she needs a little bit more fun um, because she is not having fun because she's been studying her ass off. So, yeah. Um, we can definitely keep this one. Uh, just looking at her once real quick. Um, let's see. So she wants to flirt, which is something we obviously will definitely be able to do. Make a friend. Uh, definitely want to probably be friends with someone soon. That one girl, I completely forgot her name. <laughs> um, but she she's definitely going to make friends fast, we can tell. And then she wants to join a Greek house, which is probably something we could do eventually. But as of right now, for her freshman year at least, we're probably going to just have her stay here at the dormitory. Because... I don't know. I feel like she just needs to start somewhere, <laughs> I guess. Um, we don't want to throw her in too deep because she needs to get her So she is playing it looks like a snowboarder game. Go, girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, but yeah, so. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> Welcome back, cool. Felicia. Hibbity! Um, she's actually really cute, like, honestly. She's really pretty. I really do want her to be friends with Bailey, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let's see here. She actually got up pretty good as far as her um, class performance. She's a little bit past the halfway point. So I feel like maybe after she finishes on the computer, we're going to go ahead and have her study a little bit more just to get a good grasp on the material. So she doesn't come home and like, oh, I'm depressed because I failed. Because um, that's not something I want for her. Um, who's this guy? Larry Broody. He looks like he'd be a lot of fun to throw a party with. He's also a little bit scary. <laughs> I mean, as far as Bailey standards go, she's kind of like not used to people with mohawks, you know? Just, you know, simple. Um, but yeah. Okay, so her fun is up pretty good now. We're going to have her get off the computer for now. And have her go study just a little bit more. Um, I know that seems kind of like a boring like first day to college, but, you know, we want her to succeed. So we're going to have her come study. Um, let's see. 
We'll have her study charisma this time. Or I guess we'll have her study cookie again. Cook cookie? Cookie. Um, we'll have her study cooking again. Because she does want to gain another skill point And we'll get some lifetime aspiration points. So that's cool. Um, so yeah. She'll come up and do that. Um. Uh, I feel like it's oh, kind of, their house is kind oh. of set up weird. But like it's uh. also kind of cute. Because I don't know. It's just cute. <laughs> it's a cute house. Um, she does have class in like an hour though, so we're not gonna be able to get like a super ton of studying in. But um, we'll get a little bit in for at least now. Um, and she's sitting next to Charlene Bertino. She looks like think she'd be a good friend too, like a very down to earth person. Um, she looks like she's maybe into the athletics, which is cool. Um, maybe she could get Bailey into that a little bit. Maybe Bailey could be like a cheerleader or something. That'd be super cute, actually. Um, that's actually something that I kind of want to do now. So maybe in the next episode or something, we'll have her become a cheerleader. That would be actually a lot of fun. So she's studying, as I said. And um, she's getting up pretty good as of yet. Like her class performance is doing pretty well. So that's good. Um, is she just like reading... What is she reading? <laughs> just whatever, I guess. She's just reading for funds. For funsies. But that's not what we do. We study because we're good students, Charlene. But we're not going to say anything because we don't want to make enemies. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So, it looks like she's about to skill up. And then, obviously, she's going to have to run the class. Um. So, yeah. All right. She got another lifetime aspiration okay so it looks like it is about time for her to head to class so let's go ahead and have her do that i don't want her to be late or anything she's already a little bit late awkward um but that's okay she's gonna go to class um and i guess i'm gonna go ahead and just stop the video here for now and then we'll resume when she gets back from class okay you guys so i'm back and she is home from class it is now seven o'clock at night um she's looking kind of tired um oh did she not do good girl uh, come on okay that just means we're gonna have to study more like honestly <laughs> um i don't want her to freaking fail <laughs> like honestly i don't um so let's go ahead and have her come use the bathroom um and get her needs up a little bit before we have her head to bed um she needs to take a shower also um but yeah her fun is low, but, like, obviously she just got home from a bad day at class. So, I mean, what do you expect? So, she's going potty. <laughs> I can't believe it. Just <laughs> she's going potty. Um, and now she's going to go take a shower, question mark? Or take a shower? There you go. Okay. Um, oh, that was the boys' bathroom. That's why. Um, so, she's going to take a shower, shower. And... Honestly, after that, I think we're going to go ahead and have her go to bed. <laughs> like, honestly, it's been her first day. It's been a little bit of a long day, you guys. And she didn't have the best first class. But that's okay because we'll have her study again um, tomorrow. Um, obviously... I'm not going to just like be like, oh, we're giving up. No, we're going to we're going to make you a star student, girlfriend. Like you can trust and believe. Um, anyway, she just tried to answer the phone. No, thanks. You need to go to bed. So <laughs> go ahead and sleep in your pajam jams. And um, yeah, so she's going to go ahead and get into bed here. That bed is comfort one, I'm pretty sure. So she's literally probably feels like she's sleeping on the floor, but that's okay. Um, that's great. Anyways, you guys. <laughs> oh, she's a loud snorer, sister. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, I'm sorry this wasn't a super long one, but I think we just needed to kind of get our bearings and kind of get started on the series. Um, I'm just really super excited to see where this takes us in the future. Um... Okay. I think this is going to be a lot of fun, you guys. Rana! So I hope you all enjoyed. And as I said in the beginning of the episode, make sure that you click like and subscribe as well as the notification bell so you are notified Duga. every time I post a new episode of Let's Play The Sims 2. Ah. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.